Christmas is now just four days away. Four. Many people still have some last-minute gifts they have to buy. Angela Kelly is hoping to narrow the search for you a little bit. She's at Gander Mountain in Howard. Hi, Ange. Hey, Pete. I, I got rid of the, the big binoculars. I still got my crazy hat on, though, and my cozy vest. But right now, uh, we've been shopping for some ice fishing gadgets, and uh, I found this cookbook, a fish and game cookbook for $19.99. Uh, great last minute uh, Christmas gift idea for the outdoorsman in your life. Uh, let's take a look at some of this other stuff. Scott Bertrand from Gander Mountain here in Howard is with us. Good morning. Good morning. This is a great last Christmas gift. Absolutely. You Fold up chair. Yep. Running at $19.99. Nice and compact. Bring it out with the ice fishing and it works out fantastic. Yeah, and mm -hmm. doesn't look, I have to test it out, see if it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Okay. Uh, from there we start off with an otter sled. What ice fisherman doesn't need an otter sled? We bring those in at, uh, start out at uh, $29.99. From there, we can get into the LED uh, lights. These? And, yep. Okay, what is this for? Why would somebody want this? We use that for your ice shack, so you actually are, are able to see instead of using just a flashlight or or the old lantern. So it's a it's a nice, easier way of doing things. And that goes for twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Right. And uh, this is nice because it can get really warm in those ice shanties. It can get very warm in the ice shanties, and when you include a fan into things, it gives you a little circulation and makes it a little bit more comfortable. A fan and light combo. And speaking mm -hmm. of ice shanties, if somebody wants to go real big this year for a gift, uh, this could be an option. That could be an option. We have ice shanties that start out at about two hundred dollars, and they can go all the way up to a thousand dollars. Okay, and it's, of course it's important if you don't have a shanty, you want to stay warm. Um, talk about some of this warm uh, gear that you have here. Well, you always want to start out with the base layers. You always dress in layers. We hear that all the time from, from everybody. From everybody. Uh, so start off with your base layers of your long underwear, go to the socks, and then the outer shells. The ice armor, one of the upper end uh, products that we have here, you, you're not going to get cold. Yeah, that's the one thing I really like about this place is you come here, if you want some warm socks, they've got men's, women's, kids, and they're really good wool socks. They're not the, you know, kind of lower quality, cheaper ones. They're good ones. Correct. And, and we have the people here that, can, that have the experience with them that have, that have worked with them. Yep. So. And uh, I do have to say, I was in here on Saturday. I have a lot of outdoorsmen in my life, from my husband to my dad, my brother, everybody. And I thought this was such a great idea. You know those hand warmers and foot warmers that you get yeah. for the games, Pete? Yeah. yeah. You can buy a whole bulk pack of them. Wow. For like $25. So you just buy a whole bulk pack of them and you grab them when you need them. That would be kind of a good last last minute gift idea too. Yeah, it really would. You know what I like about you, Ange? You have the hat on, you have the vest on, and you have that fashionable scarf that goes ties all the whole the whole outfit together. <laughs> I was trying to find a, like a flannel scarf or something, yeah. but I couldn't find one. Huh. And I guess it does. I'm like trying those. to stay fashionable too. Yeah, there you go. And I have my lipstick on. <laughs> well, <laughs> you look great. Thanks for Thanks. the idea. Thanks for the ideas, Ange. See ya. You're welcome.